Hi friends, season 14 has really mixed up the meta in Apex Legends. So what is the meta in season 14? That's what we're going to look at today. You see, understanding the meta can really help you win more games. So let's start with the weapon meta. It's a weird blend of long range and up close weapons this season. And that's partly thanks to Vantage bringing a big sniper meta. But it's also thanks to the return of the skull piercer. You see, the longbow is a lot more viable now thanks to the skull piercer. But on top of that, the 30-30 repeater now takes it as a hop up. And if you can hit headshots with that 30-30 and the skull piercer, it's a beast of a weapon. On top of that, the wingman now uses sniper ammo. And what that means is you've got a lot more people carrying sniper ammo and attachments. However, there is also an up close meta. And that's because the vault has come back to floor loot. Plus, all SMGs were nerfed this season in terms of range and hip fire. And what that means is SMGs are really popular this season for up close fights. And when you couple that with the Eva 8, which has had a massive buff and the double tap returning that also means shotguns are really popular and therefore you've got kind of those marksman and sniper weapons being really popular but also the kind of up close smgs and shotguns also being really popular and the mid-range game has kind of been sort of taken out a little bit that's because lngs just aren't quite as popular with the devotion being in the crafter and the rampage being in the care package your only viable option as an lmg realistically or at least easily is the spitfire interestingly i would say all weapon categories have kind of evened out quite nicely and there's actually a viable weapon in every ammo category now compared to previous seasons where to be honest there were a lot of ammo categories you wouldn't really want to pick up because you just didn't have any viable weapons so i do like that about this season Another interesting thing is that you might find you are still using assault rifles, but I bet 90% of the time you're using them in an up close manner or a long range manner. Certainly from my experience there isn't much of a mid range meta this season, and I do think the ranked map also help shape this, because with King's Canyon there's a lot more open spaces where you can have those kind of long range fights. At the same time there are also a lot of third parties on King's Canyon. I'm not quite sure why that's the case, but I think it's just the channels between the POIs means teams tend to stack up a lot more and that's why sometimes you've got those long range fights in the open areas but then you've suddenly got a close quarters fight with those weapons from another team and that's kind of why that mid range game has disappeared and a lot of those mid range weapons like assault rifles and maybe even the spitfire you'll find you start off at long range but then suddenly you've got an up close fight from a third party. Let's move on to legend meta this is another interesting area the valkyrie reposition meta it does feel a lot lower than last season. And while there's still a lot of Valkyries around, you can see from her pick rate that she's down massively at 6% from the heights of almost 14% that she reached last season. Obviously Vantage has a high pick rate as the new legend, but there are also a lot of increases for other legends that weren't used much last season. Newcastle and Mad Maggie have had some big buffs this season, and that has clearly led to an increase in their usage rates. As you can see here, Mad Maggie is up over 42%, while Newcastle's up over 100%. 118%. And bear in mind, Newcastle was the lowest pick legend last season, certainly towards the back end of last season, and that's not the case anymore this season. Obviously, movement legends are still very popular. The thing is, you'll just find on King's Canyon, you need to get across spaces, particularly wide open spaces, and that's why you're seeing Horizon and Pathfinder's pick rates increase quite a lot, as you can see here. So that's a bit about weapon and legend meta. Let's finish by talking about the ranked meta. At first, the ranked changes in Season 14 might have felt quite subtle, but when you look closer and you look at the meta for what's happening ranked in Season 14, you can see those supposedly small changes have actually had quite a big impact. You see, they've essentially uncapped the potential RP you can earn from kills, assists, and participation. Couple that with an aggressive map like King's Canyon, where it's third-party central, you've got a really aggressive ranked meta compared to last season, where you've got lots of people taking early fights, but also lots of people taking more fights than they would have last season. And that's put simply because they want to get as much KP as they can, because they know that will certainly boost their RP. Yes, there is still some value to surviving longer, but because of that uncapped KP you can now earn, teams seem to be fighting a lot earlier, and so the ranked meta has become a little bit more aggressive, certainly third party central because of King's Canyon, and a lot more teams pushing for KP over placements. So that's the meta in Apex Legends Season 14, 
at least from my experience and the feedback I've been given by my community. I'm fairly sure the meta will evolve over this season, certainly after the split when Stormpoint becomes the ranked map for Split 2. Don't forget to like and subscribe, let me know what you think of the meta so far in Season 14 in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.